Let's consider this code that creates a circle object with a radius property. We'd like to pass it to a method that will resize it by a given factor. Here's the code for that resize method. When we pass my circle to the method, the reference to my circle is copied into parameter C. Because both C and my circle refer to the same object, when we update the radius of C and exit the resize method, my circle will have its property updated. Just as we were able to update arrays in place, when you pass an object to a method, you can update its properties in place. And again, as with arrays, there's a school of thought that says you should not change the object in place, but instead always return a new value. That would mean returning a new object in our case. Here's the rewrite of our resize code to be a method that returns a circle object. As before, we create a circle in main. And as before, parameter C is a copy of the reference to my circle. But this time, we create a new circle object with the updated radius and return that new object. A reference to that returned object is stored in new circle, leaving the original my circle untouched. So, which should you do? Update objects in place? or return new objects. If you're in an environment where memory is at a premium and you don't need the object's original state, then you may want to update it in place. Otherwise, my personal preference, and it's a strong preference, is to return a new object. That way, you can call the function multiple times with the same input and not worry about whether the first call changed your object's properties in some unexpected way.